I am currently in Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea. It's very windy out here. I am right next to the beach. I would like to share with you my experience here in Papua New Guinea thus far. This is a short documentary uh, that I'm making based on uh, my recent experience in the countryside of this beautiful country. I was in, I believe, uh, the area was called Barani. I was a guest speaker at some camp meeting. Very humble people. They love Jesus, they love the truth. They don't have much, but uh, they were so thankful and happy uh, that God uh, sent me there. One of the reasons why I want to share this with you, it's because of the impact, uh, how God has been using someone like myself, uh, Amazing Word Ministries, uh, to reach not only His people, but also those that are in the world uh, for Him, for His kingdom, for His honor and glory. That particular group where I was last week doing the camp meeting, they started uh, churches in different uh, locations of that area. The group that came together, came together as a result of our videos over the years that have been shared with many of them and they have uh, made a stand for the truth and they have left the conference and to follow the truth as it is found in Jesus Christ. Part of the reasons why I've been um, going to countries, uh, I've been traveling, is because of groups like these here in this country as a result of the videos as I mentioned already that have been raised up. So I have a responsibility as minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ like the Apostle Paul to visit those churches, to visit those groups, to encourage them and to sometimes I visit them to ordain some men uh, to help lead uh, the flock, do some baptisms for them, uh, as it was the case here as well. We baptized about 23 individuals and uh, there are at least 20 more. When I made the appeal last Sabbath, they also stood up and said they would like to get baptized. Right now, they are preparing them for baptism. There is a big harvest here. There are a lot of Adventists here, but more so, conference Adventists that do not know anything that's going on in our world today that are being deceived by the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm going to share with you some clips of my experience here in this beautiful uh, country meeting with uh, those groups, those beautiful individuals in the country rural areas. Enjoy. Right here in Papua New Guinea the countryside. Look at that view. Look at that beautiful view of the ocean from afar. Spectacular, beautiful countryside. My friends here. Papua New Guinea. Right, so many stories about Papua New Guinea, especially the pineapple story about Papua New Guinea. We are on our way to a camp meeting where I will be at Grace and many are waiting there. So I, talk, I, I thought I, I will take a moment to admire this beautiful view that you see over there. Spectacular. Spectacular view. Amazing. Once again, brothers and sisters, we want to thank you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this possible to visit our brothers and sisters, especially those that have responded to the call to leave the conference and to be self-supported to follow Jesus Christ. I'll share some more with you in a moment. No, no, you can continue. Yeah. So that's why we pull up there. You know, even if we are poor, I have nothing but we have hope. Amen. The hope, you know, empowers and enlightens and gives us, you know, moves us from one one day to another. So 
Yeah, excited. I'm waiting for you. I think you've been waiting for a while now, so we have to bring you there. Yeah. You know, you just assess it and see it for yourself whether you it was a, a successful trip or not. Yes. Nice. Oh, nice, nice water. river there. Yeah. Ah, like yeah. that. That was nice. There's, there's plenty of fresh water. Yeah. In the jungle of Papua New Guinea. Yes. Praise God. You know, I've heard so many stories about uh, Papua New Guinea jungle. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's another thing to experience it. Yes. It's beautiful. Got a nice view from this angle here. Just beautiful. Yeah, we can keep going a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. Let's take a view. Take a nice shot of it. Yeah, while we driving. Indonesia. To the west? Yeah. That side. Yeah. Indonesia. Right. So Indonesia. we close In to the border now? Yeah, we are we are close to the border. Only a few kilometers from here. I don't even remember this. <laughs> that's pretty good. Praise God. That's that's very good. <laughs> When did they find time to print this? <laughs> we had to go across the border, you know. Oh, to Indonesia. To Indonesia and then print this one. Ah, I'm gonna have them because I need another banner. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to print me another banner. Because I need one that can easily fold it without okay. getting wrinkled. Okay. You know. Uh, yeah, no. th yeah, this looks like one of those. <laughs> While we have the chicken crossing the roads <laughs> over there. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, in the God. middle of nowhere, praise God. Yeah. There's a three angel message signboard still there. Kilipau this village, we are what? approaching the Kilipau village SDA church. Uh -huh. Just across here. On the other side of the road there. This church came out completely, all members came out with uh, the three angel message. Uh -huh. uh, after seeing your videos and all the other videos that we brought here, they decided to come out. There's a, uh, yeah, the church is there. That's the church, church there. Yeah, the church building there. Right over there. Yep. Uh -huh. And here is the sign. Yeah, they maintain the three hundred. Yeah. Oh, very good! Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Yep. I remember the old logo. That's yes, the old logo. That's the there. old logo there. Yeah. So this is the church ground. Hello. Yeah. So I don't see. Uh, we are going now, brother. Traveling inland now. It's so beautiful here. Yes. We just established a shelter up here, inside here. There's the road going up here. Eventually, establish a small church there for our brothers and sisters who come out from the dead church. Uh -huh. There's some kettle over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I see some, some kids over there in the water. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> we want to thank God for using us in a special way, in a small way, for His honor and His glory. And we want to thank you as well because of your support. This has been made possible to help these brethren here to help God's people everywhere as they are making a stand for present truth and uh, they need our support and especially in countries like this one and especially in the remote area where I was doing the camp meeting uh, they need our support and uh, our, my presence was a big blessing to them and as they mentioned God made this possible because they could not afford to bring me here uh, to this country and to minister unto them to fellowship with them. They saw something, they know that we are here. 
That's the, why they sent the, the messengers. Yes. <laughs> the, the idea was to send a signal here. So we were to give them Oh, that was the, the, the yeah, idea. Yeah. To prepare and then we will drive in and then... At the camp meeting site. I can already see the... Uh, yes. The billboard, the sign yes. up there. Yes. Making the announcement. Yes. Beautiful view from here as well. Yes. When your eyes are accustomed to square buildings and you come to this rural setting, it's a blessing, you know. Yeah. To see the trees and the mountains. We we'll drive there. I'll leave you there, and then we will walk up. I'll just bring the cargo later. You can walk up with them. And then. Yeah, <laughs> we took them by surprise. <laughs> There's quite a bit of them here. There's a lot of people here. That's right. How many of them are there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> people keep coming, you know. So that's because of what you do. These people are here because of your messages and the impact of what we did over the years by bringing the videos here. So, uh huh. Yeah. So it's all meaningful when you drive, when you uh, when you ride in this car, because this was the one that used I used to bring the videos here. No meaningful. So you will take a walk from the gate there. I'll leave you there. From from where the the banner is in front there. I'll leave you there, and then you can take a walk with them. Up, okay. Up with the leaders and then the members, they'll take you up there. And, uh, so you the are coming now. So you the the arrival will the 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 I stop right here. No, no, let's go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
We are happy to see you, brother. You will stand there. Stand there. And right they will sing a song of welcome. You will stand there. And uh, we ask our DCC uh, members. And we also ask our singing group, those who give the item. Uh, we ask all the singing members to take the stage. All right, the bass singer, you can stand now. Come on, come on. So these are the, these are the those that you can see. They have been disfellowshipped to your presentation. So they took the stand for the present truth and for God and His truth. Amen. So praise God. All right, uh, welcome, welcome, Pastor Emmanuel. We thank you, and we will uh, have this time for the uh, singing group to give uh, their special item, the song of welcome. All right? By me, plus, stop us saying by me, Arim. All by giving this like, welcome song of Pastor Emmanuel. All right, by me, got number two part program, you may look in. Condition your son, I'll be me making number two part and by me adjusting the gig. But for this time, by me giving time room, all I will sing, all you sing. So, all right, thank you. You play online, you can sing. Please, please, microphone. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain.
again. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Pastor. Uh, this is the uh, first part of the program for today. Uh, this is welcome program just to receive you and make you feel at home and to give you comfort and courage that uh, we are a part of God's family here. And thank you for your coming. And we acknowledge your coming and may God be with you, my brother. And this is the family of God that we are here. And we humbly, we, we receive you with the greetings from our Lord and Savior. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Joy tears with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. How are you? Yeah, okay. Welcome to Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes. Welcome, uh, Pastor Emmanuel. This is Pastor Luet. Oh, yes, ah. yes. We talk, <laughs> we talk on the phone. All right. One thing I would like to say before I share this devotional with you is, uh, well, I do appreciate the uh, warm welcome yesterday, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate that. But I would like to also uh, remind you that uh, there's only one man that deserve honor and glory and praise. And that one man is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. I am just a mortal man just like you. I'm just a fellow passenger just like you on our way by the grace of God to the promised land. Amen? I would like for you to remember that. I am not a celebrity. I am uh, not uh, a Hollywood star, as they would say in the United States. I am just a sinner, just like everybody else, who is being saved by grace. Amen? I would like for you to remember that. Do not praise any man. Do not worship any man. Worship the Lord Jesus Christ and Him only. Uh, my name is uh, Elder Sedley. Yes. I was the missionary and uh, senior elder in the main mainstream uh, of Seventh-day Adventists. Mm. When we saw your videos for three solid years, mm. I acknowledge uh, Elder Moses, the one who faithful to bring up your videos using laptop. We present in every Sabbath uh, uh, for our uh, main part or main divine service. We use your videos as our divine service. Mm -hmm. That's when uh, the conviction comes to us uh, with the power of Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and the discerning mind. We realize that, yes, uh, there's a truth was hiding now mm -hmm. because the doctrine and the laws of men, uh, doctrine of men are occupying the church of 720s by the human influence mm. or human philosophies mm. occupying the churches. And that's when, uh, just for a video, we uh, saw that it's, our salvation is very important. We need to stand for truth alone. So by truth, we will uh, save. It, because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And, and as a result of that, this church was built. So, uh, we come after three years. Uh, we protest on 2001, mm. 2020. 2022, we will protest. Mm. And just for your video, we uh, make a small shelter like this. This one, uh, the place was here. Uh, we saw your videos. After that, we raised this church. So this two church, two months, is two months. We built this church, and this church was built by 
presentation and video of Pastor Emmanuel. Now this church was built. Just only the video. Now I hope and my heart was filled with joy. And I'm praising God that uh, this church is now physically. Pastor Emmanuel will see with his own eye. Uh, was built by Charles only the video and now himself standing here and I hope you will take this video and it will be the testimony for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you Pastor Emmanuel and I praise God for our strong elder Pastor uh, Elder Moses Tegwe using his car faithfully almost three solid days and we come as this far and now you are here in this village. It's only this village uh, uphold the three angel message mm -hmm. and you see this church is here and in this village all around the entire uh Banimo, green and papua new guinea also will see the light just from this church here mm. and i hope many will still uh, come to this village as soon as when you leave this community amen thank you amen Thank Church family? Much. Yes, praise God. Yes. And this was built, as my brother just said here, as a result of God's Word through Amazing Word Ministries. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we're here. And there are many others who have came out uh, because, came out of the conference because of the truth. And they want to follow the truth as it is found in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. praise so God, God be the glory. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Greetings, everyone. Tell us where we are. Uh... We are in uh, Sandown Province, uh, in Bewani, and this is Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. And uh, what about the sign we have up there? <laughs> the billboard. This is billboard. Uh, this billboard is for Pastor Emmanuel, and we have one week a mini camp here, and Pastor Emmanuel is our guest speaker for this program. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the group here. Uh, are you with the conference or anything like that? At the moment, um, we've been with uh, General Conference Church, but because of Pastor Emmanuel's presentation, uh, we watching it, we heard a message from his videos, and uh, we know that the General Conference is going the wrong direction. Amen. So, we have to take stand for the present truth. Amen. That's why we took our stand and uh, we stand as seven Adventist three angels church in Papua New Guinea. And we are no more work uh, under general conference. Amen. And that's why we have this program and it's God's providence that we have Pastor Emmanuel here with us. Thank you. So God be the glory. Amen. Amen. So God has taken the messages, the videos, around the world and as a result of that uh, many groups have been formed uh, they are aware of what's happening not only in our world but also within the church and so they're making a stand for Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. so we give God all the glory and honor and praise for that praise Amen. 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 the harvest brothers and sisters is plentiful but the laborers are few we need to realize and understand that the end of all things is at hand and the great commission that God has given us to spread the word, to reach souls for him in these last days, must be a priority. Our lives as well must be a priority. If you cannot travel, if you cannot go door to door, but there are other ways you can support this work through your financial support. This is the reason why, again, what I'm thanking God for many of you who have made this possible. There are many other places we would like to cover, I would like to cover that need my presence, my help, my support to help them with baptism, ordaining elders, to help do the work in a self-supported way and uh, your support is needed and has been very much appreciated.
There are many here on this Sabbath day, Friday evening. Sun is setting. Came for worship, and there are many more that are coming. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Joy tears with Jesus.
their bones stand for the truth. So this church you are in right now is the church that has been raised by the Amazing Words Word Ministry. So I would like to thank God for your presence, presence here, and I believe uh, when you spend your time in doing presentation, wherever you are, your message is not wasted, my brother. You have raised many interests in the world. You have converted many interests by God's grace in the world. How the Lord has entrusted you and given you this message. And He has shaped you in a way that you will speak to the people that where, uh, wherever they are. You cannot reach them, but by your presentation through the videos, uh, people are converted today around the world and thank you for this time once again you will have this time to present a message uh, for these people here and you know uh, we've been waiting waited for you whole day today we finished supper school we have been waiting for you but you've not uh, arrived early here but they spend their time they want to listen from you so you see they waited, waiting until you arrive. So they eagerly would like to hear from you the message that God has given you. Amen. So I believe uh, the message for this day will be very blessing to each of everyone. But God will turn this guest into blessing. <laughs> Praise God. I want to take a, a look around, a turn around of everybody here. Say hi. Smile. Upper New Guinea family. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a picture. Remember to pray for those souls that have been baptized here in Papua New Guinea. Remember also to pray for the others, over 20 of them, that responded to the appeal and they are now making preparation. They are preparing them for the next baptism. Pray for the groups here because they have been under attack as well. Let me share this story with you. While I was here, since I've been here, because the conference knows that I was coming, they started to attack the groups. They put their members on high alert because Emmanuel Nuges was coming. And they tried to stop the meetings that we recently had at the camp meeting where we also had the 23 baptisms. When they tried everything, it did not work, could not work. They tried something else. Because of the billboard that the brethren put together with my picture on it and then with the name Seventh-day Adventist and uh, with another abbreviation, they went to the police, the conference, went to the police Listen now, they went to the police to report the group because the group used the name Seventh-day Adventist and because they are not under the conference. So they should not use the name Seventh-day Adventist on that billboard, uh, which was really like a flyer, uh, a, a, a banner. This is this was just for the, the meetings to let people know there that I am here, a guest speaker is here, and, um, and we're having some camp meetings here. So, long story short, one of the brethren here, by the name of Brother Moses, uh, he was the one being targeted the most uh, within this police report. And they threatened even to arrest him. The brethren, during that week of the camp meeting, they tried to stop the meeting from taking place. And they, the police even said that at any moment, they might come in and stop the meeting. But we pray, we put the matter before God. We did not uh, um, get intimidated. Uh, we don't believe that we were doing anything wrong. And by God, the grace of God, nothing happened. So they've been under attack by the conference here because of the stance that they've made. We know this is going to happen, the Bible tells us that many shall be offended because of the truth. Many are offended 
And the, the Bible also says, your family members will betray you, friends will betray you, parents will betray children, children will betray parents because they stand up for the truth. You see, if you remain under the umbrella of the General Conference with that logo, you are going to become a persecutor. Pray for them, brothers and sisters. As I mentioned before, I do not ask anything. They did not pay me to come here, nor did I ask for money to come here. I came here, I pay for everything. Amazing Word Ministries pay for everything for me to be here. And uh, it has been made possible, number one, by God, and because of your uh, prayers and financial support. So we want to thank you for your support, for making this possible, as we have been answering the call in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, go into all the world and uh, teach, make disciples. First angel's message as well. It's described that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world as a witness, Matthew 24 as well. Then the end shall come. We want to thank you from the bottom of our heart once again. Thank you for your support. And uh, I cannot wait to go to other places like uh, we would like to make it to Tanzania and other places as well uh, that we are thinking of uh, visiting Philippines as well to do some work there as the Lord opens the door and as you continue to support this ministry we believe all things are possible with God. God uh, richly bless you thank you once again pray for us pray for me and uh, if we don't get to meet on this earth Let's pray and uh, let us uh, strive to be among the saints. We will see the Lord uh, come in the clouds of glory. Let's make sure that we are among uh, the saints uh, on that uh, morning day when the saints of God uh, shall come out of the grave and uh, those who are alive and remain uh, shall be caught up in the air together to meet the Lord uh, in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. God bless you. Thus would I go on missions of mercy, following Christ from day unto day. Cheering the fatal and raising the fallen, pointing the lost to Jesus the way.